Before they head back, parents are urged to make sure kids are up to date on their immunizations. Those shots have eradicated some deadly conditions over the years. News Ace Lisa Carberg talked with a family doctor in Middlesex County. Backpacks and school supplies aren't the only thing students need as they return to school. They're required to have a schedule of immunizations for some serious conditions. Varicilla, which is your chicken pox, your measles, mumps, and rubella, um, hepatitis B, pneumonia, um, all of which have been significantly reduced diseases because everyone's getting vaccinated. Dr. Sona Cecilia treats families at the Middletown office of Middlesex Health Primary Care. Aside from giving kids these vaccinations, she also does something called a catch-up schedule for families who have fallen behind. You don't necessarily need to wait as much time between vaccines and we can combine them with other ones so that you don't have to wait as long to be completely vaccinated and can return to school safely. And for older kids, HPV vaccines are available to prevent a virus that can lead to cervical and penile cancer. The first shot is at age 11 or 12. Initially, it was a vaccine that some people had a hard time getting uh, behind just because HPV virus was not something we talked about. But as more and more people are getting educated, we are seeing a higher rate in the folks that choose to get it. And older teens need boosters to protect them from dangerous, even deadly viruses. Meningitis can be very common in that college dorm setting around other individuals. So we do give that two parts at the age of 11 and 16, um, as well as with a booster right before they go to college. Now, the vaccines are required by law. The state's re religious exemption for parents to opt out to kids only applies to children and teens who are grandfathered in. Your doctor is the best place to start with questions. Lisa Carberg, News 8.